Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Guru Nata, and today in this video we will see how to combine two different sources into one single output. See, exercise is all about collecting the data from different sources. If you want to combine the collected data from different sources, then we can use the merge component or union all component. If you have two different sources or if you have two multiple sources you can use merge component or you can use union all component if you have more than two different sources or i will say more than two input sources then it is better to go with the union all component so in today's video we will use the merge component and try to combine two different sources into the single output if you see here we have the two different sources the one we have in a csv text file you can see here and another one we have in a sql table data you can see here you know so this is my table that is tbl sales here so you can see that yes so in that we have the three records here and in our csv file we have the three records here so it means you can consider this as a source one and you can consider this as a source two. You can also consider this as a third party data from the client. Okay, so this source can be considered as a third party database table, which is available at the client side. So your job is to combine the both the sources. Okay, one which you got at the CSV end and another one which you got at the SQL table data end. So it's our job that to combine the multiple sources into the one single output. So this we are going to achieve by using the merge component. Okay. So for the same what I will do, let me just open up my visual studio. What I will do, I will just double click on my data flow task here. Okay. So since I have the two multiple sources, so let me create two source component so one is for flat file source that is for my csv and another is for sql table data so I, obviously i will use the oledb data source to connect to my sql table data so there you go so this i am going to name it as source one so this will be like my source two if you have more than two sources, then it is better to go with the union all component. If you have the two sources, either you can go with the union all or you can go with the merge component. So here I have the two sources. So let me just configure one by one. I will say new. It's very simple friends. So let's combine it. Let me go to the E drive. Double click and you can see that sales source so let's see the preview you can see that we have the three records here right 1004 1005 and 1006 okay so i'll say okay here preview close okay done let's configure the second source i will say new connection practical db i will say okay so this is my database okay and uh, tbl sales is my the another source table i will say preview so you can see that right close i will say okay done okay so now what i will do i will use the merge component here to combine the both the sources into the single output so for that let me just drag and drop merge component here you can see that yes so here you can see that we have fully configured two sources here that is source one and source two now in order to connect both the sources to the merge component there is some condition here so what condition it is so the merge component requires both the sources data set to be sorted before it connects to the merge component so let me just show you the error you know friends so what i will do just to prove you we have merge input one and then we have merge input two can you see that 
the input merge input 1 and merge input 2 have sort key position assigned to their column incorrectly so it means before we connect any sources to the merge component we need to sort the data so that's what the merge condition you know so let's say ok now and let's try to sort the data before we connect to the merge component ok so I'll say cancel this right and one more thing I want to do here you can see that in my source 2 my column sales id is a integer here right you can see that 4 byte sign integer and the salesperson is like a unicode string even the address also unicode string now let's do the data type conversion for source 1 okay so for the same what we will do let's go to the flat file connection manager i will say edit and let's go to the advanced here and let's change the data type of this sales id because when we do the sort definitely there should be similarity between the data types so for the same i'm going to select the 4 byte sign integer and for the salesperson let's select unique code so and for the address same unique code right done i'll say okay let's refresh it yes okay now i'm going to use the sort component so sorting we can do by using the sort component you can see that so we have the two data set here now so we will use the two sort component okay so let one and here it is second one okay let's combine it sort let me double click on it so sort on which column i want to do on the sales id definitely i am going to select the prime attribute column that is the key column okay so my sort type is ascending you can either select descending also but if you select descending here so it is compulsory that you should also select descending on the other side also okay so here i am going to select ascending i will say okay so let me do the same setting here also double click sales id ascending order i will say okay done let's combine it to the merge component so this is like merge one input i will say okay this is like merge two input by default let's double click so there you go now here in the merge input two let me select the column here so there you go salesperson sales address right i'll say okay done now to output the both the inputted source what we will do we will take the help of flat file destination so here i'm going to output my two input source records to the flat file destination let's keep it simple okay so you can also dump this two input source data to the sql data table also but for now to keep it simple in this video i am going to use flat file destination you can also try by using audio dot and destination also you can dump the data to the sql data table just try it at your end in case if you got any queries or any doubts or any difficulty for the component configuration you can get in touch with me or you can post your comments in the below comment section of this video i will be really really happy to support you in the technical difficulties so for now let's come back here and let's try to configure the flat file destination here so let me just double click on it i will say new so this will be like d eliminated one csv1 i will say okay and there you go so this will be like csv output my connection name i will say browse so this will be like so let me select the folder here there you go so here this will be like output let me create a text file here let's select this okay column names in the first row yes there you go i will say preview you can see that i will say okay done i will say okay done mapping there you go done yeah so now let me run the program and let's see the output first let's save everything and let's go to the solution explorer since we have lot many packages let's set up this as startup package done 
me say start so there you go you can see friends our program is running so there you go from the source 2 three rows has been output from source 1 three rows both the data set has been sorted using the sort component and we combined two different sources by using the merge component you can see that three rows here three rows here and the six rows output we got here in the flat file destination so there you go let me stop this and uh, let's see the output here so there you go you can see here friends right you can see the output so sales id salesperson address 1001 21006 right so here we got from the source one you can see that we got the three records here comfortably and from source two the three records we got here so there you go you can see that so friends this is how you can implement a merge component in your ssis package program as you can see that if you have two different sources and if you want to merge that both the sources into the single output then yes you can take the help of merge component or as i told you if you have more than two sources then it is better to go with the union all component i always prefer to go with the union all component because there we don't need to sort the data but that i leave up to you how you want to combine the data either you want to go with the union all component or either you want to go with the merge component so friends this is all about in today's video hope you like this video as i told you in case if you have any queries or any doubts you can post your doubts and queries in the below comment section i will be really really happy to solve your technical queries and doubts and before you exit do not forget to give us a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you are new to this channel because your one like and one subscribe really really motivate us to create more such technical videos on MSPI. So thank you very much friends. Happy learning.